Hello, 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 Spriggans! Alright, today we're going to be gathering all of the regional folklores that are available currently on Botanist and Miner for Dawn Trail to get ready for your raids. So hopefully you can get everything you need done. Uh, the entire rotation for this is one Eorzea day, and we're going to be getting six items. So we're going to start with the Ipe Log, then we go to the Nepali Flower, the Black Seed Cotton Ball, Harmonite Ore, Turali Alumin, and then the Fine Silver Ore. For this rotation, we're going to be needing 900 GP. I will be doing an 800 GP, but 900 will yield you a better result. And how we're going to get to 900 GP is you just want to meld a little bit of GP into your gear. So I did it on my main hand and offhand here for an extra 20 there. You also get bunch from uh, the new high quality crafts and then I put one into my boots but if you want to push to the 900 GP we're gonna be using uh, stuffed peppers food here so to get stuffed peppers we're going to open up the recipe tree here so we're gonna need trolley corn oil Utomo chili sauce alpaca filet bell peppers, alien onions, and all of these ingredients are quite easy to get. Alien onions is from the previous expansion, Endwalker, bell peppers is current expansion, alpaca filet is current expansion, and you can buy these with your bicolor gemstones, or you can send your retainer disciple of war out to get these for you. Dragon peppers are a realm reborn, Uts Omo tomato is going to be uh, current expansion and so with Turali corn. Uh, at high quality, stuffed peppers will give us 32 extra GP. So, as you can see, eight, I have currently 874, so we add 32. And now we're at 906. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using our Blessed Harvest 2, and we're going to be using Pioneer's Grit 2. Those combined is going to be 600 GP. And then we'll need another 300 GP for Ageless Words, and hopefully you can get an Eureka proc. Okay, so where can we find all of these nodes? So, first of all, you'll be needing your regional folklore books, which you can get from Purple Gatherer Scripts. Each book costs 1600, so you'll need 9 books in total if you're also doing fishing, or just the 6 books, because you'll need Alexandria, Shaktural, Yaktural for both. Uh, logging and mining. So the first one that's up is going to be the Ipe log and it's starting from uh, 0 to 2 Eorzea time. It's going to take us to Kazumoka and it's going to be right down in the uh, southwest corner here. After that we'll be going to get our uh, Nopali flower and that's going to be in Shiloni and once again it is in the southwest corner. Then we get our Black Sea Cotton Ball, which is going to be a harvesting node, and it's in Alexandria. It's also in Living Memory, and it's over here in the uh, Ley Node Pyro, right by the Arena of Valor. Then we move on to uh, Mining, so we're going to get the Harmonite Ore, and this one's actually in the exact same zone as Living Memory, and it's right afterwards at 0600, and it's going to be right around here, the Wind's Path Gardens. Then we move on to our Turali Alumin which I believe is a quarrying, and it's at 0800 to 1200. So we're gonna go to Warlord's Echo in uh, Urko Pacha, and it's just, it's pretty close to the node. It's right over here in the southeast corner of the map. And our final node there is our silver, fine silver ore. It is located in Shaloni once again, and it's gonna be on the southeastern part of the map. So the first node is popped right here. I've used my stuffed peppers to bring us to 900 GP. So here we go. Uh, we're at a 20% chance to use this. If you have the stats, you notice you can get extra here. So if you want to overmeld and push for those, uh, you want to pay attention to these stats here. So here we go. We're going to use Blessed Harvest 2 to increase everything. So we get 3 per hit. And then we're also going to use Pioneer's Grit 2. 
bring his gift to. And uh, that should bring our perception to 58%. So hopefully we get four, we'll get three to four every swing, basically. Okay. And now we can use our uh, Aegis words and we didn't get a Eureka, that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Okay, here we are at the Black Sea Cotton Bowl in living memory. The note is up from 4 to 6 a.m. and 4 to 6 p.m. The order to time. So we'll pop Blessed Harvest 2. Pioneer's Gift 2. And hope to get a Eureka. We'll use Aegis Words. And no Eureka. Let's hope for a revisit then. I hope you guys get a revisit because it's really nice. So we'll do our regular. For Miner, it's King Yields 2. Mountaineer's Gift 2. For the same abilities on Botanist, just different names. And we'll gather twice. We'll use our Solid Reason. Don't know Eureka proc, dang. <laughs> That's okay. And we'll just gather the rest here. Looks like we got a revisit. Perfect. So we'll use the same thing again. King's Yield 2. Mountaineer's Gift 2. Gather, gather. Solid Reason. Oh, and we got a re Eureka. So we got extra lucky on this one. Uh, shout out in the comments if you've ever gotten a revisit on a revisit. <laughs> I w I'm very curious to know if it's possible. Alright, and that's all six of them. And then it just repeats. So the next one is going to be the eBay log. at noon till 2 p.m. And if you have uh, trouble remembering the order, I just put the nodes in the order in my inventory and that's that's what really what helps me. This is good spirit bonding too, so you might want to use a spirit bonding um, potion if you're going to be doing this for more than one time. Nice note is you can also double eat your food. So my food's about to run out here, so I can eat again. And it will stack up to an hour um, before any food increase duration buffs. So a uh, food normally gives you 30 minutes. Uh, so you're right there, I have the 42 because I'm getting an extra 10 minutes from our FC buff, meat and meat. If I ate again uh, at 40 minutes, I would get, uh, so you get the full hour from your food plus the 20 extra minutes from uh, meat and mead because it stacks on both of them. You can't eat for longer than an hour base time, but you can extend it using FC buffs. If you can't quite get to 870 GP, uh, you can just skip out on the Mountaineer's Gift slash Pioneer's Gift. It just gives you a little bit of extra chance to get uh, an extra on each gather with the uh, increased perception. And I'll be doing a video on how to get your purple gatherer scripts fast. Real fast. <laughs> All right, and that's everything. So I hope you can get all your gathers that you need for everything coming up. As far as the amounts needed of each of these uh, is unknown, but you can probably look back at a previous expansion. So you can go back to the 8090 gear and it's going to be under the master recipes actually. So we'll go to cloth crack because you will be needing the master books for the new stuff coming up and the first crafted set was the 93 star here so as you can see it used uh, three bayberry cloth two titanoboa leathers 
one chondrite leather or ingot. And of course the Aether Sands, which I did in my previous video, which I'll link up here. So if we go into our recipe tree here, you can see, there we go, so the Bay Berry is a time node from uh, Endwalker. It says that we need 15 of them for this one piece of gear. So you can imagine how many you'll need for a full set of crafted gear, depending on what you are crafting. I'm sure you can do the math. They're usually, they're usually the same. Uh, if we just go to just one bayberry cloth, it looks like it uses five fur and then two of these cloths. This one is tombstones, so you'll you'll be needing your uh, aesthetics tombstones to buy uh, some of the pieces. All right, uh, happy gathering, and I hope you get everything you need for uh, the launch of the next patch coming up. And I uh, hope to see some. Uh, good revisits for all of you because that is such such a great new ability that they added so good all right thanks for gathering with me if you like this video give it that thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll see you in the live streams bye for now